are behind on our electricity, we're behind on our gas. We couldn't pay our landlord, we were three months behind. There was one point um, that I could not afford any groceries. I was telling my kids, you know what? We're gonna have this again for dinner and I'm sorry that at the store we can't get this. Like, I'm sorry. We could go starving every day all the time, but the kids need to eat. My boyfriend, he is an army vet with two boys. With um, He's also a diesel mechanic. He had had a really great job. Everything was going amazing for us. We moved out, awesome neighbor, no problem. He lost a job. We couldn't um, make ends meet. We got married on our seven year anniversary. I've always wanted to pursue a career in the medical field. I actually graduated um, Everest College for medical assisting in 2010. Um, so I know my heart has always been in that field and nurturing and caring and it's just something I've always wanted to do. We were both working um, until 2017. I had my two-year-old. Then I decided to stay at home and raise my kids. Like, we don't qualify for any sort of assistance or anything, so everything's out of, you know, out of pocket. I got some from my grandmother. I took it to her house and I surprised her with it and knowing that she's definitely in the need, she doesn't get a lot of assistance and you know, she's on a set income. Anytime she's in the need, let me know and I can go and see you know, about helping her too. And um, I think the pandemic's really hit a lot of people and people don't think the elderly, like they can't really get out more and but there's limited income, grocery prices are rising. She only gets about $50 worth of food stamps a month and it really, doesn't get very much. So it's just really sad that she doesn't have all that money and when we go over to her house, it's like her fridge is empty. And so for her, like seeing all this food, she was like, oh my gosh, like look at this. It's just hard, you know, it's, it's she, she really needs it. Sometimes you're in a spot where you need help and you have to set your pride aside and you be like, you know what, I do need this help and I'm gonna go and find it and take it. My friend Jessie, uh, my neighbor, she texts me and she's like, hey, did you hear? And I was like, yeah, I saw it on the news. And she was like, you wanna go check it out? And you know, they have, telling me all the fruits and vegetables and my kids love fruits and vegetables. Getting those boxes stretches our weekly shopping budget. And so it's really nice, but it's definitely an uphill battle. But uh, I think everything good is an uphill battle. The America that we've grown up in know that if something happens like a huge hurricane or a pandemic like this, we stand up and we help each other.